Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today, it is a great day to be alive, as usual. Today's video, I'm gonna be something, I'm gonna be using, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm gonna be using a classic makeup palette. You know the one. You know deep down what I'm gonna use. Hint, she is on her very last days in the retail world, but she will live forever. And odds are, if you love makeup, you probably have this palette if you've loved makeup for more than five years. The palette that I'm going to be doing a little tutorial today with is the original Naked palette. Now as you can see, this girl has been through a hot... She's been through a lot, okay? She's been through a lot. Um, and I've had her for a long time. She's been on many school field trips, many basketball um, games, like away games, many cheer camps. She has been to many summer camps with me and she deserves recognition and I've used her on my channel, on my channel, on my channel before, but I just wanted to do a little tutorial using this palette, showing you what I like to do with this palette. She needs her moment and so we're gonna give it to her. So I'm just gonna start by priming my eyes and honestly, back in high school um, is when like the majority of this palette was used. I did not prime my lids and she stayed on okay, but I feel like with today's day and age, people have just understood that priming your lids is just something um, that we do now. So that's what I'm gonna do first. But this girl, she is a, she is an OG. She's amazing. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this big fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Naked right here. It's just a blank shade and I'm just gonna take that and put that all over my lid. In today's look, I wanted to keep it kinda like natural, something like realistic that you can do. This is going to be a super like under 10 minute eye look. I'm just placing that sheer off-white-ish tan shade all on that lid. Now one thing I feel like was, was super popular back in the day was just like shimmer shades. Like mattes weren't really, like you didn't have to have those transition shades like people press down your throat now, but that made no sense. But I'm gonna go into the shade right here, Buck, and we're gonna use that as a transition shade. I'm just gonna put Buck in the crease. And these shades, like this is the original palette of all palettes. Like makeup, of course, was big before this palette, but this is like where I think it got big with high school students. You know, like I feel like this is where we kind of, high school students kind of branched out from only shopping at drugstores and for me, grocery stores. Like I got all my makeup from Winn-Dixie growing up. It's kind of gonna go the bronzy gold route, but if you watched my game day video, I use like only these shades. So I kind of want to deepen it up and go with these pur plummy purple shades and some gold. So I'm gonna go into that shade Hustle, which is that deep purple shimmer shade. And this is the Morphe M433 brush. Um, I've said this before, this brush has, she's seeing her last days. Um, and I'm just putting this up here in the crease, just kind of blending it out to really darken that crease. So that purple kind of has like a brownie undertone to it and I really do like that. I'm gonna go into the shade right beside it, that shade Toasted. It is just a little bit of a lighter purple. It's really pretty. Oh, that was not a good squat swatch. swatch. My hands are kind of dirty. It's just kind of like a champagne -y purple is what I would describe it as. And we're gonna kind of work that in. We're going a little bit more onto just the lid and I'm just kind of pressing that going from the outer corner shade towards the inner lid. Now we're not covering the whole lid with this shade. This is just gonna be the main outside portion of the lid. Not in the crease, not in the inner corner. And honestly, I didn't use this shade a whole lot in high school. I went more of the goldy bronzy route, but I did use this if I wanted to do more of a smoky eye, of course. So now I'm gonna go in another shade that I did use a lot in high school, and this is the shade Sidecar right here. And it's just a super shimmery. It's kind of close to being a silver shade. And I'm just gonna take that with a little pencil flat brush. And we're just gonna press that on like the inner half of the eye. And this is honestly not the route I thought I was gonna go with this eye look today. I thought I was gonna show y'all more of like a bronzy look, but again, since I've already done that, oh, I accidentally went straight into that gold. Yeah, I'm just putting this on the inner corner of the eye. And this is just like a really subtle look, but kinda smoky, but you can still do it day to day. And that's what I really like about this palette, is that it's so good for like day to day use. I'm gonna go into the shade Virgin over here, um, and it's just a really white shade. I'm gonna use her as like an inner corner highlight, and I feel like this was like the first inner corner highlight that I, well it was like the only shade I ever used ever, 
in high school. I'll take a little bit of that and put that on the brow bone. I'm gonna start using this more often. Like I forgot how pretty these colors were. And now I'm just gonna go and line all four of my water lines with this Lorac black eye pencil. I always either use this one or the Urban Decay pencil. But speaking of Urban Decay, I'm going to go and do like a little wink in this razor sharp longwear liquid liner from Urban Decay. And this one is like, makes it to where it's super easy to get precise, but it's also super easy to mess up. And I don't want to do like a super dramatic wing because I'm not going in with fake lashes. Because in a little bit we're doing a pink photo shoot, like an auburn pink photo shoot. And so I don't want my makeup to be too much. Because you kind of want to keep it like naturalish. So I just did those wing liners. I did them kind of short. They remind me of like the Ariana Grande, how she like kind of swoops hers up. And so yeah, really tiny and cute. And so I'm just going to go on some with some lat. I'm going to go in with some lash primer because again, we're not using falsies today. And I think the mascara, I'm going to go back to my Colossal Big Shot mascara by Maybelline. And we're really going to work this in really good. I like voluminous lashes without the, all the work of uh, false lashes, <laughs> so this is what we're going to really go through every single strand of lash. I'm going to go like back and forth between this one and this one because that primer, once it kind of gets too dry, it makes it like, see it's already done it on this lash set of lashes, it kind of makes it a little bit more difficult to run through. And I don't like that. So you kind of have to hit the primer right after. Like I feel like letting the primer sit there for like a couple seconds is good. So you kind of like make it a little sticky. Before I really go in with those bottom lashes, I'm going to go into the shade Toasted, that purple shade that we did on the main part of the eye. And I'm just going to line the bottom lash line with this shade just to kind of make give it some shimmer on the bottom and just really kind of, I always say like smoke it out even though I don't want everything I do to be a smoky eye. Um, this I just feel like just makes it a little shimmery. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do for the lips. I'm going to go with the Coco K, uh, liquid lipstick by Kylie Cosmetics. If you know me, you know this is my favorite lipstick of all time. I'm going to go over that with a little bit of this Booksome, um, gloss. Isn't it so cute? It's a mini. I rented books from Chegg. I think is where I got it and they sent me this and this is in Dolly which I used to have the normal size of this and it's a very popular one and I have like I did five separate books and they sent me five separate of these little things. Love glosses from Booksum, Booksum, Buxom, Booksum, <laughs> Buxom, whatever, Buxom, that's what I'm gonna say. I love their glosses because they like make your lips kind of tingle and enlarge. So guys, I think that's it for this video. This is the final look. It was so much fun bringing out the old girl out of the closet and I'm going to keep using her and um, giving her the love that she deserves. And let me know if you have this palette. Do you have this palette at home? Did you love this palette like I did like several years ago? Was this your first eyeshadow palette that wasn't drugstore? Let me know in the comments. So yeah, thank you again for watching. I hope you like this final silvery um, purpley look different from what I thought we were going to do, but okay. So yeah, thank you once again for watching, and I hope you have a great day and great rest of your week. Bye!